This weapon is completely useless. It's what a lot of people have always said. But the Marco's Inheritor is actually surprisingly really good. No one really noticed it up until now, because it's not a stat stick, meaning that its stats aren't that good. So what's the reason I'm trying to tell you that it's good? Well, just take one peek at the stats. Notice anything? Well, you should, because it's only 30 weapon and 10 strength. Now, I have a little quiz for you. What makes the champion sword so good? Well, uh, let's, let's clear the question. It's obviously that it only takes 40 weapon to equip with decently good stats. Now what if I told you that the Marco's Inheritor actually beats that subscribe button and you should too so I can make enough money to buy the Boken and remove your most hated human which you will have to tell me in the comments below. Now back to the vid. The Marco's Inheritor beats out the Champion Sword in every category besides in lag and swing speed. Now comparing the stats of both these weapons, Marco's Inheritor does 6.3 more damage, has 10% more pen, 0.5 more range and 4 more weight. Now you might be thinking, that's an unfair comparison, and you're right. Obviously champion sword stats will be considerably worse at a higher swing speed, but that's not why this weapon is better than it. It's because of the aerial and the crit. Now if you didn't know, Marcus Inheritor has an aerial fist crit, even though it's a heavy weapon, which it still does the full heavy damage, it's just faster and trickier to parry. And the crit isn't your base mid-ass heavy crit, it's the Neve crit, aka the crit that literally no one likes. This crit, after getting guard broken right, is gonna set you up for a 5 bar icy option, ash slam, fire forge, fire blade combo in your bum hole. And yeah, nobody really wants that. But you want to do that to others, don't you? Now, for a quickly summarize why this weapon has been massively overlooked. At just 30 weapon and 10 strength, but that's really nothing, so who cares, you get at the price of swing speed and end lag, a fist aerial, neve critical, more damage, pen, range, and weight. Now, normally, to get the fist aerial with actually decent stats, you'd have to invest at least like, what, 75 weapon? But with this, you only need 30 heavy. And uh, that, that, that sounds like a pretty good, you know, payoff to me. Plus, you can get an enchant so you won't be having to use your LFT or Hero Blade, whatever. Now, the real question is, will this actually work in time? Let's find out right now. Also, I don't really have a better build for this right now. Either like, this is the only thing I have. And I don't have... Time will come. Okay, be right back. Okay, wait, I, I decided to just say it on the way to why I don't have a better build on this. Well, I had a max build, but let, let's just play the clips. Ah, it, fuck! Oh, shit. My avatar why is there so many? Oh my god! What the fuck? I wiped in lane 2. Oh my god, I love the Pokémon. Mm. I wiped <laughs> in lane 2. <laughs> why? <laughs> WHAT IS THIS SHIT?! WHAT?! <laughs> I owe you! With our Ankauf service, we can do it for you. Let's go! Erlebt? What's going on? Let's go! Media Markt and Saturn. Level up your game. Okay, we're nearly there. Also, I'm not gonna do normal time on v ones I'm probably gonna pop it to 2v2s. Because there's no way I'm gonna be beating any top time with level all level 1 mantras and like 480 HP. Also this isn't like transmog with the glitch or whatever. Actually you can't even transmog that, what am I talking about? Anyways, yeah, I just went more once. Let's hop into tools and let's see what I can do with this. We ended up getting into a match. My chest, we can, we can bro. Oh, Virginia. Well, the shout out to all my Americans, bro. Oh. After hearing all that, maybe pick it up for a build. I'm definitely gonna be doing that. I'm not saying anything about it. I might be a video soon. With that said, sub up, help me buy the Pokemon, and uh, have a blessed day.